Hello everyone, it's Mrs Mann here and the story I'm going to read today is called My Strong Mind and it's about the power of positive thinking and it's to tie in with our mental health week. Jack is a kind and happy boy. He likes school and has many hobbies. But like every boy, he sometimes faces difficult situations at home or at school. He gets disappointed with himself. He finds it hard to make new friends. He gets easily upset and angry. He feels pressured by children to do things he doesn't like. At school, his friend Kate told him that your mind is very strong and powerful. You can train your mind to decide what to think about yourself, about others, or about any situation. You can tell your strong mind how to react to your fears and worries. This helps you to stay positive, be yourself and be at your best. Jack decided to use his strong mind with all his challenges. That evening, he wrote down some things he did not like about himself. Playing football badly, struggling with piano lessons, a poor test result at school, having few friends. However, behind every disappointment, he wrote something positive about himself. He called this his positive list. Jack's positive list helped him to remember what made him proud. He could always use it to be confident and stay positive about himself. The next day at school, Jack wanted to make new friends and spotted a group of boys playing football. At first, he didn't dare step forward. Then he thought about his positive list and all of the things that made him proud. This gave him confidence and he walked over to the group to say hello. Later on, some boys dared Jack to throw a stone through a school window. They teased Jack and told him, you're a chicken if you don't do it. Jack counted to 10 to calm himself down. He told the boys he could make up his own mind and didn't feel like doing these kinds of things. Then he walked off. In the school vegetable garden, Jack found a bird with a broken wing. He felt sad for the bird and softly started crying. Some kids saw this and laughed at him, but Jack thought, it's okay to have emotions, I'm just being sad. He gently picked up the bird and looked after it. When Jack arrived home, he couldn't find his favourite toy. He got upset and so angry that it felt like his head was about to explode. His mum calmly walked him to the kitchen and asked, Jack, how big is your problem? On the fridge, Jack read a problem list he had made together with his parents. Ginormous. You need a lot of help from an adult. Big. You can solve it with some adult help. Little, you can solve it with a little reminder. Tiny, you can fix it all by yourself. I think it might be little, Jack said, feeling calmer now. Well, shall I help you find your toy then? His mum asked. Mum and Jack tried to find his toy together. That evening, Jack was learning to play a new song on his keyboard, but he kept hitting the wrong notes all the time. Jack was frustrated and felt like giving up. Then he told his mind, keep trying your best, you can do it. He kept trying and finished the song without any mistakes. Jack felt very proud. As Jack was getting ready for bed, he thought about the school camp he had the next day. Jack was a little bit scared to go camping for two days and was nervous about being away from home. Whilst his dad was tucking him in, Jack asked, Daddy, is it okay to be a bit different sometimes and to be afraid to go away from home? You're fine just as you are, Jack, said his dad. And of course it's okay to be scared sometimes. I've been scared many times in my life. His dad smiled. Everyone feels a little bit scared when doing something for the very first time, but that's how we learn. Jack felt comforted that it was okay to have fears. Jack was tired from a long day. 
He was less worried about school camp and happily fell asleep. And his mind grew just a little bit stronger that day. I hope you enjoyed that book, everyone. It was by a man called Nils Van Hove, who lives in Australia, and he's a mental toughness coach. And with his books, he tries to help children learn about being confident and resilient and have a positive mindset. <laughs>